Okay, I am sick and tired of being January 1st every dang year. Here we go. I want to switch things up. We need to change our dates, gosh darn it. Uh, I don't see what's wrong with our dates, but I know it'll cheer you up. Let's go caroling. I saw all three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day. No, Christmas. I am resolved to change things around today. I'll take your spot, New Year's Day. That way, the first thing everyone thinks about every year is death. Yes, then I should come up and remind everyone that you never die if you have eternal love. The only thing eternal is death and what you post on social media. No, the only thing that's eternal is my irritation with you people. Bro, why are you so lame? Everyone knows holidays are all about partying. Now, let's get packed shoulder to shoulder with a bunch of strangers and stay up till midnight to watch a ball drop. <laughs> the reason <laughs> I'm so lame is because you're up partying all night. I never get a good night's rest. YOLO, bro. Oh, you can live more than once if you become one of the living dead. Oh, the living dead, eh? Reminds me of me first wife. Uh -huh. That last made Angela's ashes look like Dr. Seuss. Oh. Ooh, sorry, the only movie references I get are from the Hallmark Channel. You know I love that Hallmark Channel, girl. I mean, wife wasn't all bad, though. Let's have a pint to her. In the name of love. Ah, you too. <laughs> Traditional Irish. You have a lovely singing voice, St. Patrick's Day. Sing Christmas in Killarney next. One more singing. I have a pounding headache because of you. Christmas? Me? Yeah, because I've had to listen to your incessant music for the last two months. It's not my fault I got all the best bops of the holidays. I didn't ask people to write them. They're just like, hey, let me write a Christmas song. Uh, boom, Ruin Fred Nose Reindeer. I just... <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to feel overshadowed. Like, why doesn't New Year's Eve get any jams? Like, the only song I have is Auld Lang Syne, and I don't even know what that means. Like, is that even English? Yeah, and I feel overshadowed by freaking St. Patty's Day over here. I mean, sure, I can make green waffles, but it just feels forced. Okay, I'm sorry, but who the fudge are you? Uh, International Waffle Day, March 25th, hello. Uh, do you mind if I just say happy holidays? Because I've got some friends who celebrate International Pancake Day. Oh, nice. Another shot fired in the war against International Waffle Day. My brothers, I should go first because without the earth, what is there to celebrate? Earth Day is right. Without the beautiful streams and valleys, then what would I compare my lover's eyes to? How about the fiery pits of the inferno? No thanks. Whatever, Valentine's Day, if that is your real name. You're just one big marketing ploy to get workers to spend their hard-earned wages on frivolous cards and candies. No! Who invited him? Labor Day is about the people! Gosh darn it, the only people you represent are the Hallmark Corporation. We do love Hallmark. Tear down the walls! Tear down the walls! Christmas and Valentine's Day are corporate propaganda, that's all! Okay, cool your jets, Labor Day. Day, I do have a biblical reason for the season. Oh, we're getting biblical, okay. Historically, Jesus was most likely born in March, and the only reason you're in late December is so that early converts to Christianity could continue to celebrate the pagan winter solstice. Okay, guess who's going on the naughty list this year? Jesus' naughty list. Oh my. Labor Day, you're creating unrest. I'm not trying to get rid of holidays, I'm just trying to rearrange us a little bit. Please. Well, guys, according to my calendar, it's already November, which means it is now Christmas season. Who wants to put up the tree and sing some carols? Woo! Party! I am barely over. Show some respect. Does anyone even know when I am? Here we come a-wassling among the leaves so green. Here we come a-wassling so fair to be seen. But a joy come to you and to you your waffle too. I give up! Ugh. That's it. I am going on strike.